The kiss oh, shot. <laughs> the kiss shot. <laughs> All right, here we go, Liz. I'll touch you one time. We have a very happy We're walking yes. down so to the OR. <laughs> I want you to get a mask. Can you get me a mask? Yeah. Stand there and just stay right there for a second. Chris is going to come around behind you, take your blanket, and then hold it down. Yep. So, how are you feeling, Liz? I'm excited. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Here we go. Nice booty. Now they do their lucky socks. My girlfriend's bought a booty. I did let you wear. I like those. Okay. All right. We're going to be putting some monitors on you, okay? okay? There you go. Just like before. Okay. She's still smiling. <laughs> it's all good. Here we can see the isolate chamber where Liz's eggs are going to be placed. Are you doing okay? Yeah. Yeah. Are you okay with your arm? Yes. Yeah, so my arms are racing. Okay. <laughs> Just let me know. Okay, guys. I'm, I'm Laura. I'm a cardiologist. I'm going to be taking care of your eggs for you. Great. Thank you. Okay. We're going to confirm that it's really you. It is. <laughs> this is Elizabeth Valdiga. Dates worth 11 3 1974. Here for an egg aspiration around Tarantino. That's her. All righty. Going to get okay. some good sleeping Have stuff. A good night. <laughs> So this is Liz now. She's completely comfortable under anesthesia, and we're going to begin the uh, egg aspiration procedure. And for many of you who will undergo the procedure, it's completely painless. Anesthesia is given. The word test tube baby comes from the fact that we're using test tubes to collect the fluid uh, that the, surrounds the egg. It's put into a media, and everything is kept under sterile conditions, and everything is kept temperature sensitive and also pH balanced. The collection process is going to begin very soon. We use a ultrasound to guide us so that we can see where the eggs are located in the ovaries, where the follicles are located in the ovaries. Okay, so this is the ultrasound machine. Dr. Tarantino is doing Liz's aspiration today. And this is the ultrasound view of what the ovaries appear to be after they've been stimulated with the fertility medications that Liz has been using. And what we can watch and observe is the needle passing into the follicle and collecting the fluid, which then enters into the tube well, and is collected. Right how? The needle is inserted in a very gentle manner and it is not removed completely but then goes from one moves from one follicle to the next. Once the test tube is filled with fluid, then it's brought to a special chamber where it's examined by our embryologist to determine if there is an egg. So hopefully, Laura will be identifying an egg within the chamber shortly, and we will have Liz's first we had one, egg. Two in the first. So that was great. We got two eggs from two follicles, which is wonderful. And this gives Liz a great beginning to the aspiration procedure. This particular incubator is kept under both temperature and pH control to give the egg the best chance of remaining healthy. All of these Procedures, protocols, and instruments are made and are designed to keep the egg 
in the most natural environment as possible outside of the body. So this is the protocol that will go on until all of the follicles have been aspirated from Liz's ovaries. We do one ovary and then uh, after that ovary, all of the follicles have been aspirated from that ovary, then the next ovary uh, will have the eggs aspirated from it and so on until all the eggs have been collected. Hey guys, just wanted to say we're all done with the egg aspiration. They were able to retrieve 19 eggs. Very exciting. Um, I feel no pain right now, thank goodness. Um, and I can thank the awesome staff here um, at the Reproductive Medicine Group for that. They have just done such a good job and everybody's been so helpful with that. And you know, if you're looking for a place to go that you're gonna get an overall great experience, I highly recommend Reproductive Medicine Group. Um, it's just been the best from start to finish and um, we're really excited and looking forward to the next step and I want to thank my husband for being so supportive and, and loving through all of this as well. And so this is where we are. I'll catch you guys up when we uh, do the, the embryo transfer.